uh, dear student today i am going to take the topic of performance testing so this topic belongs to the um, software testing subject uh, the first uh, what is uh, the performance testing so the performance testing means uh, we analyze the application uh, behavior uh, or we analyze the software by applying some load uh, uh, here the load means uh, um, for example we take uh, one one any one website so uh, at a time uh, simultaneously or concurrently uh, n number of users access the uh, website so uh, this, this is called as a this is the load okay so uh, here uh, we test the load uh, of any kind of applications so the, this type of testing is called as a uh, performance testing so the, here we use the there are three different type uh, factors uh, which are determine the load performance of the uh, any kind of software so the first one is the response time second load uh, then third one is the stability uh, res uh, what is response time uh, uh, the user give the request so based on the request it will give the responses to the user's uh, request uh, so that is called as a uh, it takes some amount of time and it will give the the server give the responses to the uh, client or uh, users so that is called as a response time okay so uh, this is the definition time taken by the server to respond to the client request uh, then the load so uh, simultaneously how many number of user access the uh, server so that is called as a load stability uh, stability mean when n number of user using the application simultaneously for particular time duration so uh, yeah, if you take any kind of application so at a simultaneously uh, uh, n number of users access the uh, application so that is called as a stability okay then so the uh, performance testing is classified into four different types uh, one is the load testing stress testing scalability testing stability testing these are the four different types so uh, first what is load testing load testing means um, so the uh, <coughs> uh, for example uh, if you take any kind of application uh, for example the google is a kind of application uh, which can be accessed million or billions of users so this is called as a uh, n number of user access the application so uh, here we test the performance of the application by applying some load which is either less than or equal to the desired load is known as load testing um, uh, for example uh, thousand, uh, uh, the desired load is a thousand uh, means uh, 900 users are accessed or uh, 1100 users are accessed so this is a, um, a load testing so load means n number of user access concurrently at any kind of application any application uh, or any time so this is called as a load testing uh, here thousand users uh, thousand user access the uh, application uh, the goal is a uh, three uh, second for example uh, the google or um, many uh, web application is available so that application access million or billions of user simultaneously this is a kind of uh, one kind of example for load testing then stress testing stress testing means uh, the uh, uh, for example any kind of uh, uh, if if you take uh, any one application uh, that application consists of a thousand users uh, uh, simultaneously access the application but thousand hundred users are access the application what will happen so this is called as a stress testing stress means it's a kind of pressure which we give the application 
so that type of testing is called as a stress testing here uh, the behavior of application by applying load greater than the desired load that means uh, um, uh, for example the desired lo load is a thousand users uh, thousand user but uh, the thousand hundred user access the uh, application what will happen we tested so this type of testing is called as a stress testing okay the goal is a four second then uh, here the thousand users uh, increase the desired load uh, the goal is a four uh, four second then scalability testing so in a scalability testing means uh, um, so uh, the the performance of application uh, by increasing or decreasing load in particular scales so here uh, we increase or decrease the uh, application load in a particular scale the, that means the number of users uh, is known as a scalability testing there are two different type of uh, scalability testing one is the upward scalability testing the another one is a downward scalability testing okay uh, upward scalability testing means increase the number of users on particular uh, scale uh, for example the desired uh, level is 500 means uh, we increase into 1000 so uh, uh, in this testing uh, is useful uh, to find the um, the capacity of the application that's why we use the upward scalability testing downward scalability testing means uh, the desired load is 1000 but we give the 300 or 200 uh, so uh, here we uh, identify the uh, bugs um, so that's why we use the down, uh, downward scalability testing uh, the stability testing uh, stability testing means checking the performance of application by applying the load for particular duration of time uh, so applying the load for a particular duration of time uh, is known as stability testing uh, uh, apply checking the performance of application by applying the load uh, so we apply the load at the particular duration of time uh, is known as a stability testing volume testing means here uh, a huge amount of volume is a uh, volume of data is a loaded into the um, application what will happen we test the behavior of the application so this type of testing is called as a volume testing then choke testing choke testing means uh, the application uh, which is work under the unsupportive environment for example if any kind of application which is uh, working under the windows um, uh, but uh, uh, we are uh, putting into the linux environment what will happen so this uh, this type of testing is called as a choke testing but the choke testing is a uh, negative testing because it's uh, working under the uh, uh, unsupportive environment so that's why this is a negative testing okay student today i take the um, uh, performance testing if you have any kind of doubt uh, please kindly give your doubt in the comment section i will uh, clear your doubt thank you student